Here I'm going to show you my way of doing the timing on the yellow lights. First you take as close to the raw file off your camera as you can. Preferably always use the original, drag and drop it to your desktop. And then in this case I'm opening it in Media Player Classic. You can also use Windows Media Player. If you use Windows Media Player to be able to do stepping a frame at a time, you hold down the control key and then you push play repeatedly. And every time you push play, you would count that as one frame. Now make sure your camera does record this in the progressive mode. In fact, I think 720p, 720 progressive is the best. Some older cameras, you can actually be recording interlaced field frames, in which case it would be 30 frames per second, but it would also be 60 fields per second. And you may actually, depending on your player, be counting the field. So try to do it under progressive mode. Yeah, for those people that are uh, when, or that are Mac users, QuickTime, I looked up and I believe QuickTime just with using your arrow keys, you can do a step frame on that. So at this point in this video, I'm at the 16 second mark as you can see here, which is about when the light is going to change. So right now, I will just step frame it until I get to where the yellow light is changing, which may take a few times. This is a tedious now, and what you're going to have to do even when you get to the yellow light is you're going to go, okay, right now, I would consider that the very first frame of yellow. So that would be frame number one, and then you're just going to keep clicking. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 30 clicks would be one second. So when you just keep doing that, you just keep counting them up. Now, for an example, on this one, I clicked 113 times. So that means once it reached 90 clicks, it was already at 3 seconds. So it was 3 seconds plus another 23 frames, which is approximately a third of a second. So let's call it, you know, just slightly over a three and one-third seconds. So this yellow light here actually does last for three seconds, which is the recommendation of the Nans National Transportation Safety Administration. Uh, I did some tests of myself. This is Navy Thomas's video I'm using here for a demonstration. I went out and did some tests of my own, both on intersections that had red light cameras and intersections that were just ordinary intersections with no cameras. And I will talk about my results next week, but I'm interested to see you guys go out and do this and do your tests and I just wanted to give this little demonstration to show you how to do it. It's basically just clicking and counting and um, do it several times to make sure you got it accurate but I think this is plenty accurate enough for us to know especially in different regions of the country how long the yellow lights last. So thanks and I hope uh, a bunch of you participate.